Kerbal Space Program! Hi guys, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, today's mission is, I think it's gonna be a, a two-parter or something. Because I need to go to Tylo and, well... Oh man, this is gonna be the lander, right there. <laughs> but uh, before we do that, I need to get this in the orbit around Kerbin, attach something on the nose here, uh, like a pusher stage to get it around into interplanetary space, back to Joel, into Tylo, and all that good stuff. So this is going to be a big, big mission. Three, two, one. Whoa! That is going up. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. Staging. This has to be the slowest vehicle I've ever put into an orbit. Yeah. Yeah, this is bothersome. Oh dear. Okay, I need to revise this a little. So, I'm gonna revert this flight. So here we go. New version, revised and ready to launch. So, three, two, one. Ah, <laughs> oh, frames! Basically, I replaced the 600 kilonewtons of thrust with 800 each. So that's a little bit better. Yeah, this is looking alright. Mm, this stage is almost gone as well now. Oh man. Do I actually need more? <laughs> That's amazing! Not gonna happen, guys. And here it is on the launch pad, and it's a lot of wobbliness going on. Hmm. Anyways. As he has on launch! That has been the greatest launch yet. I was looking the other way and I thought, hey, I need to stage, but apparently not. Um, so, yeah, this is going great! Ah, stop it! Stop it! Ooh, parachutes. Hey! hey. Uh, let's hope I can still save him. Retrograde bolster. Suddenly I'm Russian. Uh, there we go. Boop. Yeah, so Jep survives. Let's try that again. So, ready to launch in five seconds. Three, two, one, zero, minus one. It's minus two. Uh, now. <laughs> Holy sh... Boop. Overheats. Holy sh... Yeah. And stage. Goodbye. It's so massive, isn't it? Uh huh. Stage. Yeah. Kabadoosh. Yeah. Looks like we're finally picking up on some speed. Let's just arc a little bit more. Already three minutes into the flight. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, that's not good. Um, watch that. Goodbye. Really don't want to fight gravity all that much anymore. Yeah, that's that stage gone. So we do have to use a little bit of the lander now. But that'll be fine. Let's just get the apoapsis out. There we go. That's in space. So, let's complete this burn. Here we go. Bringing out the periapsis. 
There. That's well outside the atmosphere now. Good stuff. Well guys, I recorded in the morning and right now I record in the evening. Um, basically I've been having three to four hours on this build right here. Look at the massive size of this thing. Uh, this is going to be a test run again. I haven't tested this version just yet. But I think this might happen. I had all loads of uh, load balancing issues with the fuel and uh, just not packing enough punch to get this entire stage into orbit. So let's give it a whirl. Three, two, one. Biggest thing I've ever launched in my life. Here we go. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> the fun thing is, if this works, I could just uh, grab the uh, detachment manifolds here and make it into, uh, what's it called? Yeah, a, a thingamabob. Um, God damn it, what's the name? A prefabricated thingy? That's what I meant, but... Subassembly! Eh! Got the word! That's looking great. Good stuff. Weird exploding noises. There we go. Another weird exploding noise. Huh. I wonder what broke down on me. A couple of engines are off, but not all of them. Oh, these ones. Huh. That's how the fuel. Why? Why is that out of fuel? I don't get it. Huh, that is really weird. Oh well, it's all about getting things in uh, this thing into orbit, so I just hope it works. <laughs> I was really thinking that loads and loads of engines and two fuel tanks here would... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Can detach that. Don't explode my stuff. Explode each other. That's fine. And detach that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I really wonder why that stage uh, cut out on me. That's really interesting. Ah, we're out. Out of juice on this stage. Goodbye. I think this is gonna happen this time. I've been at it all day, so don't mind me being able to fly this with a happy face. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we could go to 75. Yeah, almost. Ha! <laughs> right. Get rid of that. Don't no longer need it. Extend some panels. I knew this was gonna work. It just needed more boosters. <laughs> uh, get rid of that. We don't need that as well. And here it is. The final pusher stage. All prepped up and ready to rock and roll for the next flight. Let's see what Imperiapsis is doing. Oh, okay, that's fine. Here we go. 74, 75. We only used 40 units of liquid fuel on that final burn. So I call this uh, mission a success, to be honest. So we got Bob Bib, Bob Bib, and Bib, in the middle, uh, Bob Bill and Len King Kerman. And um, yeah, it's all ready to rendezvous with the other craft. The fun fact of the day is that that other craft doesn't have any RCS. So, I wonder if it has RCS. Nope, it does not. Ha! That's gonna be troublesome. Yeah. But it does have a docking port and some sort of a science probe with a... with its shield already open, ready to receive. But it will take a while before they finally sync up. So, uh... Yeah. That's the next thing I'm gonna do. So stick around.